Hey Astra Kids and welcome back. And in today's video we'll be talking about Soul Urge 8. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start, you first want to make sure that you have the correct information. So on the screen here, you can see a calculation of how to get to this soul urge number. So you want to use this formula. And the way to do this is to take your full name at birth and to take the vowels out of your name. You want to add together all of the digits according to your vowels until you get to a single digit. And you want to calculate this separately. So you want to take your first name, get to a single digit or a master number 11, 22, or 33. Take your middle name, last name, and then add all of these numbers together. And this will get you to your soul urge number. So if you ended up with a 1, then this means that you are on the right video. And the one is ruled over by the sun. So the one has a lot of energy to it, a lot of expression. It illuminates like the sun. So this is the number of leadership, of leading by example, of being a trendsetter. So this is a very unique number. Now the one is a part of a trio of numbers of the one, five, and seven. And what all these numbers have in common is that they are all about intelligence. So the one is also a very intelligent number. Along with this, the one is similar to the five in that it is very adventurous. It is all about novelty, all about experiencing something that is new. Also, as the one develops, it can become very similar to the seven in terms of its intuition. So the one tends to bring forth a lot of new ideas, a lot of innovation that is coming directly from spirit. So this one energy is all about being unique, all about standing out from the crowd. Now something different that I'm doing that I didn't do in the life path numbers is I'm going to take apart this one and talk about the different variations. So you want to look at the number that you arrived at before breaking it down to a one. And if you came to a 10, because many of you are not likely to get to a 1 with the length of your name. So if you arrived at a 10, then that will be a pure 1 for you. And this is going to especially bring out those leadership qualities, where you are someone who is confident, who is charismatic, who is a natural trendsetter. You have this energy about you where you have a very strong intuition. You bring ideas and originality forth. If you ended up with a 19 or a 91 to get to the soul urge one, then this is also going to put a huge focus on leadership. Along with this, though, is a focus on being a humanitarian. So you are someone who takes your ideas, who takes your original creations and turns it into something that can help others, that can impact others. You are all about helping other people on a larger scale. If you ended up with a 28 or 82 when you arrived at the Soul Urge 1, then this is definitely going to be more one of the more practical combinations. So the 8 is going to make you someone who is very much inclined towards business, finances, security. You are looking to build abundance and prosperity and also to share this abundance with others. The 2 is going to make you someone who is very nurturing, very cooperative, all about relationships. So this is a great combination for a business situation, dealing with other people, working towards a goal. If you arrived at a 37 or 73, this is going to be a very interesting combination because the three makes you someone who is very expressive, who wants to connect with others, who wants to put your creativity out into the world. But at the same time, the seven is going to make you more introverted, more about spirituality, more more about developing your intuition. And so this is a combination where you have to find a balance between being social and connecting with people and having that time to yourself to research, to develop yourself, to work towards your spirituality. If you ended up with a 46 or a 64, then this again is going to be a very practical combination. You are someone who is very much about family, about togetherness, about caring for others, but you do this in 
in a very practical way. You are about building a foundation, working towards a goal consistently. If you arrived at the 55, this is going to give a master vibration. We have a double five influence. And so this is definitely going to make you all about freedom, about change, about adventure. You love to have a sense of freedom. You love to build your own wealth, to work towards your own career, to build a stable foundation on your own. You want to be someone who is self-sufficient, who is independent. So let's talk some more about Soul Urge 1. And the soul urge is your motivations. It is what drives you in life. It's what gives you a sense of purpose. So the soul urge is something that will come naturally to you. It is your natural desire in life. And so this is a very strong position for this one energy, which again is all about taking the initiative, starting something new. It is an energy of new beginnings. And so this soul urge one is going to give you a strong sense of individuality. You are all about your own identity, about what makes you unique, what makes you stand out from the crowd. So it is very important that you are able to find that thing that makes you unique and to put it on display. And you want to look at how this is interacting with other numbers in your numerology chart. So for example, if you have a number that is more on the introverted side, then it may be more difficult to get this desire out. If you have a number that is more on the wavelength of the one, such as a five, then this is going to be easier to navigate. Ones tend to have a very unique style or a very unique approach. You have something about you that you like to express to the world that stands out as different. And this tends to make you someone who is very magnetic. Other people tend to want to follow behind you. So you are a natural trendsetter. You have a way of influencing others through your creativity and originality. At the same time, though, this can also take a knock on your confidence. So you want to make sure that you are constantly working on your self-esteem with this position. This soul urge one is all about being confident, dynamic, about taking risks, about standing out from the crowd. But sometimes there is a tendency to fall back or to feel stuck when you are having confidence issues. So you want to work on this. You want to make sure that you're not allowing other people to take down down your sense of confidence and self-esteem. And this is something that can play out, especially when you are in a losing situation. As a soul urge one, there is a desire to be number one, to achieve something, to stand out in this unique way. And so when you are losing or when you are finding that others are rising above you in terms of their uniqueness, there is a tendency for you to put yourself down. So you want to make sure that you are continuing Continuing to strive to be unique, continuing to strive to put yourself out into the world and not allowing these situations to take you down. Another thing about being a soul urge one is that sometimes you can have a lack of direction in life. And so what can happen is that you are someone who is very skilled at creating, at starting, at initiating. Again, you bring forth these original ideas and you are very determined to get started. But if you are feeling stuck, then you are unable to see those goals through until the end. And so this can create a lot of change where you are constantly changing your energy interests, constantly changing your career, constantly changing your direction in life. And in some ways, this is good because this helps you to discover your uniqueness. But you also want to make sure that you are finding that channel to express yourself, that you're not constantly finding yourself in a situation where you're unable to direct that energy. As a soul urge one, you are someone who loves a sense of novelty. You want to experience something new. So you are a very adventurous person. You are up for new experiences, new opportunities. You want something that is different in your life. There is difficulty with sitting still or with having the same consistent routine. You are someone who is looking to experience life to the fullest. You also have a natural desire to take leadership. So you can be drawn to leadership positions or you can find that you are the leader of your friend group or that you have something about you where you are constantly putting, being put in situations where you have to take the lead. 
there is something about you that stands out to others where they look to you for guidance. They look for you to be the one who takes the initiative. And oftentimes you are someone who is happy to assert yourself. You are someone who is happy to take on these roles and responsibilities. Sometimes along with this tendency to be put on the spot, you tend to be the person who takes the blame for situations or who is a scapegoat in your social group. So you may find that when you are in situations where there is trouble or difficulties, that you oftentimes are the one who stands out as the culprit. So there is something about you, again, that is very prominent, like the sun, you are shining and standing out. So you do want to be mindful of all of your actions, making sure that everything is ethical. A big lesson for you as a soul urge one is to be authentic and true to who you are. There can be a tendency sometimes when you're losing your sense of confidence to try to follow or blend in, but you are not here to follow anyone. You are here to set an example to others. So it is very important that you are understanding who you are. And this is where, again, this seven energy of this potential to develop your intuition comes into the picture. It is very important that if you are losing touch with who you are and what you want to put out into the world, that you're taking that time for yourself to go inward, to connect more inward with who you really are. So sometimes you need to get away from it all. You need quiet time to actually discover your true potential, your true identity. There definitely is a difficulty with listening to others or taking orders. As a soul urge one, it is your natural desire to take leadership. So you tend to do best in situations where you are self-employed or when you are able to climb up the ladder to a higher position. You are someone who likes to be in charge, who likes to make sure that the outcome of what you're working towards is something that comes out as outstanding and excellent for others. And in this way, you can become an extreme perfectionist where you are all about getting that good result, about being the best in what you are doing. As a one, you also are extremely creative and talented. So once again, you are able to bring forth these original ideas. And this sun energy is giving you a lot of creative potential. So you may be an artist or someone who is able to incorporate artistry into your work. Sometimes you also can have a need for validation where you look for others to praise you for your accomplishments. There is a need with this soul urge one to find a balance with your ego because your ego is very strong with this soul urge number. Again, you have this strong desire to be independent, to stand out from the crowd. So your individuality becomes very strong and very important to you. But you want to be careful about going to a place of ego, of arrogance, of taking this too far. You want to be able to find this balance within yourself. Along with this, because you are so independent and seek to be the best, seek to take your own unique path, there is a tendency to reject the help of others. You are someone who likes to do it all on your own. And in some situations, there is a need to be more open to receiving the support of others. It is important to understand that you are the leader, but sometimes you need others to follow behind you or to give you a sense of support and encouragement. This can be very helpful to you in your endeavors and your vision, making this come forward, making this happen through the support of others around you. As a soul urge one, you definitely can have times of becoming impatient where you want things to happen quickly. You have a very straightforward forward nature about you. You don't like to play games or to beat around the bush. You like to just charge in and take action. And in this way, those who are more of planners or thinkers tend to irritate you. You are more of a doer. You want to take charge.
charge. You want to move forward. And so it is important to have patience in some situations as you also tend to be a risk taker and this can land you into difficulties. There is a very assertive nature about you where you are able to charge forward. And in this way, you are very inspiring to others. You bring energy and passion into situations. If you are struggling with a sense of direction or motivation in making things happen, something that tends to stand out for the ones in general is being on stage. So even if you have a number that is more on the introverted side in your numerology chart, as a soul urge one, being on stage is a huge area where you can express your abilities and take on this dynamic role. So some careers for soul urge eight oftentimes is centered around leadership and authority. Again, you have a natural leadership tendency. You are all about taking charge, all about taking action, taking on responsibilities. And in this way, you make a great leader. But again, you tend to struggle in situations where you have to take orders from others. So this is oftentimes a number that is more suited for entrepreneurship. You also can be involved in artistic fields as well, in fashion, in artistry, anything where you are expressing yourself. Again, in acting, being on stage, any kind of performance. This also can make a great number for politics as well. So in relationships, the soul urge one tends to make a great partner. You bring a lot of passion and excitement into your relationships. Sometimes though, there is an imbalance in terms terms of sharing and giving in the relationship. Again, the one is a very independent number. So sometimes it is important to receive help and support from your partner in the relationship rather than continually being the one to take charge and take on all of the responsibilities. In relationships, you really are looking for someone who is honest, who is straightforward. Again, you have this energy about you where you are all about taking the initiative. So you don't want anyone who is going to beat around the bush or to people please. You want authenticity. You want someone who is going to be upfront and honest with you in your relationships. You take this very seriously, but you are someone who is very loyal, very devoted within your partnerships. <music> 